People across the world continue to stand in solidarity with those victims. Our Keely Arthur takes us to the latest vigil in our area. Dozens of members and supporters of the LGBT Latino community gathered in Fitchburg today, but they say the most important people here are the ones on these crosses who died in Orlando. Mercedes Marisol Flores, Oscar Aracena Montero, Juan Ramón Guerrero, Rodolfo Ayala Ayala, Luis Daniel Conde, Adrián Carrillo Fernández, one by one, the names of the 49 victims in Orlando were read out loud. Javier Jorge Reyes. Echoing hundreds of miles away from Pulse, the gay nightclub where they took their last breath. Juan Chévez Martinez. But hitting so close to home for people right here in Madison. I'm a queer Puerto Rican, Latino, um, and, and most of the people there were. At the vigil Saturday, many gay Latinos and advocates expressed their grief. You know, obviously, we are very saddened by what happened with the killings last Sunday. Es la esencia de la vida. But they channeled that sadness into a call for change. And it's time to say, enough is enough. So today, more than ever, we have to stay strong. El privilegio de dar. Remembering that this senseless act has put the spotlight on their community. That the mission of those who die have become our mission. Strengthening the fight against hate and the power of love everywhere. And they will be remembered forever. Que te lo pague Dios. That's Kaylee Arthur reporting there. Unidos, a domestic violence advocacy group, and Elancia Latina hosted the event. And members of the Madison Police Department, including Chief Mike Koval, were also in attendance.